Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Ann Reardon and in this episode I'm testing your baking IQ. There is such a large amount of fake recipes springing up and circulating online lately, so I thought we'd see if you can tell the difference. I'm going to show you four recipes and then you can write your guesses in the comments of if they are real or if I've faked them up. Let's start with number one. Take a packet of jelly or jello and add in half a cup of boiling water. Stir it until the jelly crystals are dissolved and then pour in a tin of evaporated milk. Then chill it for 30 minutes in the fridge. When it's just starting to set on the edges, whip it with electric beaters until it is thick and fluffy. Pour it into glasses and refrigerate until set. And you have a soft, light, jelly, fluffy dessert. Number two. Place two eggs, a quarter of a cup of milk, a teaspoon of baking powder, and two packets of Oreos into a blender. Blend that until it's smooth and then pour the batter into a cake tin. While that one's baking, let's skip to number three. Chop two Snickers and place them into a pan with marshmallows and cream. Heat it until it's melted and then chill in the fridge for two hours. Beat on high speed until it's whipped and then once your Oreo cake is cooled, you can pipe swirls of Snickers frosting around the top of your cake and add a piece of Snickers on top of each swirl. And you've got yummy Oreo Snickers cake. At number four, strain the liquid from two tins of chickpeas. Boil that liquid until it is reduced. Let it cool and then add it to a bowl with cream of tartar and caster sugar. Whip it on high speed until it looks like meringue. Sift almond meal and icing sugar through a coarse sieve just to get rid of any lumps. Then fold that into your chickpea mixture. Pipe circles of this onto baking paper and bake it in the oven until it's done. Match up the halves that are of similar size, add your filling and you have vegan or egg free macrons. Now you have 10 seconds to write your answers in the comments. Which ones of those recipes were real and which ones were fake? Go. Okay, time's up. Let's look at each one. Recipe number one, jelly fluff, is a really nice, quick, easy dessert recipe made with jelly and evaporated milk. The milk allows it to froth and the gelatin in the jelly makes it set. It's real. Number two, Snickers frosting is fake. It doesn't have enough fat content for it to whip up like that into a thick frosting. The frosting that I piped onto the cake was just a normal batch of buttercream that I added a melted Snickers to. So the recipe that I showed you was fake. Number three, the Oreo cake. Well, what you're looking at here is in fact a packet cake mix. The Oreo cake, if you can call it that, looks like a volcano. It has weird holes through it and a really unusual texture that could best be described as rubbery. Could you eat it? Yes. Does it taste good? No. So that one was definitely faked up in the video. Number four, the vegan macarons. These are actually real. You can make these using chickpea liquid or aquafaba. Depending on how long you bake them for, the shells will be different. This shell was baked for quite a long time and if you have a look at it, it's really quite hard and the texture is not normal macron texture. It's crunchy, like a, a really hard dry meringue with a bit of a nutty flavor to it. If you bake them less, then they're a bit more like a macron texture in the middle, but the outside is also very soft, so they break very easily. And as you can see, they're a bit hollow in there too. They do actually taste pretty good though. So if you can't have eggs, these are definitely worth a try. And these ones are real. How did you go? How many did you get right? With thanks to Audible for sponsoring this week's episode, Dave, my hubby, has actually just finished recording his novel, The Deep Enders, as an audiobook, so you can enjoy listening to him. The man clutched the pearl with one hand and rubbed sand from his eyes with the other. You dirty thief, I'll rip your guts out, he snarled as his eyes adjusted. Mickey knew there was something familiar about that face. 
the messy blonde hair, the grizzled teeth, and four fingers on one hand. She scrambled backward out of arm's length, then leapt up, and forgetting her sneakers on the beach, she sprinted barefoot all the way home. I love listening to audiobooks that are narrated by the author themselves. If you need a gift for someone or even for yourself, go to audible.com backslash how to cook that or text how to cook that to 500 500 to get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month, which is less than half of their normal price. Originals are exclusive to Audible. They're narrated by well-known people from all walks of life like musicians, journos, athletes. And you can also get one audiobook of your choice each month. With thanks to my patrons for your ongoing support every single month, you guys are legends. And if you would like to join them, you can head on over to patreon.com backslash how to cook that and see the rewards there. If you need to up your baking IQ, check out some of my debunking videos or my real recipes that actually work. Make it a great week by being kind to others and I'll see you on Friday.